We've been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty. The most goaded Gary Larson comic ever, Cow Tools. Oh, yo, yeah. Cow Tools. Where it's just like, it, it had some like really vague, unfunny meaning that was just like, this is what tools would look like if cows made them because they're for completely different purposes than human stuff. But it's like, this is a Sunday comic. How would anyone infer that? From a single, from a single panel <laughs> comic text. No, like, honestly, I, uh, dude, when I was a kid, I used to read the far side. I, I read the shit no, out of same, the far same. side. And, I did like, too, I, actually, unironically. I, I was so stumped on what the joke was there in that in that specific comic. I'm like, okay, well, I, I chalked that up to just me being a kid and not knowing what's what. But, like, literally the fact that that <laughs> cow tools was the entire joke. And it's known for being, like, the worst comic of all time. <laughs> I think that in itself makes it funny as shit. Which is terrible, because it's like... The Far Side has, like, a lot of really good, like, niche comics that are really fucking funny. Like, I'm sending you one yeah, right now. This is, like, yeah, one no. of my favorites yeah, I saw. Yeah. Package for you to sign for, ma'am. Phone repair, man. Need to check your lines, ma'am. Insurance salesman, ma'am. Mind if I step inside? We've been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty. It, I, it's super crazy that you even bring that up because I did actually read a lot of Gary Larson. I read Dude, the I Calvin and too, Hobbes like, and shit. Those know, were the so. days. Those were the days. Yeah, I would just get it from the library and read it over and over again. The library. The library. <laughs> Let's see. Hark knew this place well. He only... <laughs> <laughs> I honestly love the dry humor of Gary Larson. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just there's a special place in my heart for that. With as much it's like- just, It's just, it's like surrealist and fucking stupid. <laughs> like with how cringy I am, like- Chris Chan! There's, it's, there's some part of my humor that has been left untainted. <laughs> there's that one too. Dude, this is- <laughs> it's Oh, that one's funny similar. as shit too! My god. Hold on. My god. It's all these deer posts. Deer posting, dude. Dude, deer posting. Midwestern posting. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry. Here's another really fucking funny one I just found. Oh my god. god. I titled it something wrong, so it's just dot .jpg. Here you go. Dot .jpg. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. It's... What the fuck? Huh? I to what? It. You... Yeah, I think you fucked oh, up the name. <laughs> yeah, me, me, me playing coy and trying to get you to download malware. Yo, dude, but why is my computer storage filling up very fast? Wait, wait. Wait. What? Wait. Does it say thunder stick or thunder dick, dude? This image is so low. Thunder res. dick. It says thunder stick. <laughs> oh, thunder stick. <laughs> thunder stick. You actually said actually call that thunder that stick. My, that, my that, friend, is a Winchester thirty on six. It's just, it's so <laughs> dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So I forgot funny how funny movie. these are. They're funnier now than I'm older because it's just like, it's just they're all just shit posts. Hold on. This is the most shit posty one I found. Yeah, I'm here often. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> also, just <laughs> this cow belongs to Daryl. Jo Daryl yeah, Jones. Jones. So hand so hands so off. Hands off. My God, those the cows, cows are gonna it. suffer. I was those gonna say the, the fucking cows' faces. That's that's the joke. The joke is just their face. And, like, that's all you really need. Like, and it's all just, like, hunting jokes, too. So you can tell this guy was just, like, someone's dad. But, no, yeah, it's, like, it's, like, sur like I wouldn't say surrealist and, like, it's weird and strange, but just kind of, like, it's just very dry. It's just, like, the stupidest shit, and that's what makes it funny. Okay, this is actually, this is actually kind of based of him. Apparently, for the first time in, like, 25 years, like, in 2020, he started making new comics. This is incredibly based, dude. This is what is it? What is it? Send it. Send it. This send is it. him. Make, he's making fun of himself. Look at this. Wait, is it just that he's making stupid shit? Yeah, dude. He's, he's like cows, his comics dude. are like Frankenstein's monster, dude. He's like terrorizing people. <laughs> <laughs> it is like evil genius shit. The level of the witch. He'll just like come up with dot like I shit posters today like pale in comparison to the stupid things that he makes. Okay. Oh my that's god, dude, one. you you that's ate you, you ate your mic so hard on that laugh that it like muted your laugh, but I could like hear the faint like a faint laugh in the background. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was leaning in to look for more and I came across <laughs> this bad boy. It can't be downloaded securely? Huh? <laughs> You're about to get a virus from a Gary Larson comic. Uh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
just I this too. His characters are like the most oblong, strange looking things I have ever seen, and their faces right. are fucking hysterical. <laughs> It's just, it's such a good art style, but it, it, it's not, like, too off-putting. Dude, you're about to get a, you're about to get a zip bomb, like, downloaded from Gary Larson's website. That's, like, his final Stay troll on people. Uh, there we go. Finally. Oh, okay, my God. One All that for this. All this for this. <laughs> I understand why my elementary school teachers and stuff, like, ate this shit up. Like, they love this. I had a lot of teachers who were, like, older ladies or whatever, and, like... Dude, I understand. Really? They'd see me like bringing this from the school library, and they'd be like, "Oh, I love that." I'm like, "Yeah, it's, it's okay." I know. I would. I would show. I would. I would show that and Calvin and Hobbes off to my teachers because I wanted to like get on their good side. And I oh yeah, the teachers be, like, like he, he must me. be a he must be a good sport. Wow, he he must be really educated and like smart compared to his classmates. He he likes big person things. I had a dude in my class named. Uh, named it was when it was it was when Gangnam Style was like sweeping the nation, oh, right? Oh no! And um, uh, of course, everyone was like, "Bro, there might be some cool subliminal meaning behind Gangnam Style, right?" Because because it, <laughs> it was Korean, none of us spoke Korean, and we oh for some reason just didn't use Google Translate. And um, he he came up to me and a bunch of other people in the playground, right? I was just hanging out with people because they I wasn't I. I don't think people dislike me as much as I thought, but I didn't have a lot of people I could like hang out with regularly. But uh, I went up. He went up to us and he goes, with, "He's got like his. He's got just giant eyeballs. Like they're fucking. They're spread as wide as they can go. It, it's because he's had a great realization. Oh no. And he's like, guys, and we're like, y yeah, dude, what's up? He goes, I just, I think I found out what Opa Gangnam Style means. Oh, and we're like, God. What, what, what do you think it means? He goes. Epic condom style. <laughs> and we were all like, dude, that's totally what it means. Holy shit. And we started like, oh my God, oh my God. And me, I brought it up with my mom and I was like, mom, I don't think I should listen to Gangnam Style anymore. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Why's that? I'm like, I think it means epic condom style. Oh my God. And, and of course, my mom's like, I don't think so. <laughs> and... <laughs> And then we and we did not discuss it past that. Dude, that like, felt really embarrassed. This kid in my class, I don't remember his name or who, uh, which kid actually said it. But this kid like gaslit me into thinking that he said this the song was actually anti-American propaganda or something like that, and that it was about killing Americans. Like, <laughs> dude, this is communist shit. Stop listening. To this. And he's like, oh yeah, no, dude, the You're lyrics. poisoning of, your brain. He's like, yeah, no, the lyrics of Gangnam Style, Gangnam Style, or however you say it. Um, it's actually, it's actually about, uh, killing Americans, and I just believed him for, like, a week. Bruh. For a week. And I realized, it's like, wait, this kid's, like, off his shit. <laughs> wait a minute, that's, that's insane. <laughs> like, there's no actual he's, way. <laughs> he's a fucking lunatic. 